Every week in this newscast, we enjoy having the folks from the Humane Society of West Alabama and nearly all of the animals that visit find a forever home after they appear here on television. But did you know this? No one who works for the shelter gets paid, and one volunteer works nearly full-time helping dogs who need a home find one. Tonight, WVUA 23's Ivy Irvin introduces you to volunteer Betty Freeman. Here's tonight's Spirit of Alabama report. Meet Betty Freeman. She spends almost 30 hours a week taking care of dogs and helping them find their forever homes without expecting any pay. It's a passion. I do it because I love it. Freeman is a volunteer at the Humane Society of West Alabama's Dog House. She takes care of the dogs, runs the adoption process, and their fundraisers. But Freeman's way of volunteering isn't what most would expect. It's like a full-time job. <laughs> Usually it can run anywhere from a good 20 to 30 hours a week. And she's been around from the start. I think about 15 to 16 years. And Freeman has continued her work. And other volunteers like Tina Miller believe that the Humane Society wouldn't be the same without her. She's really a full-time volunteer and we could not do what we do here at the doghouse without Betty Freeman. Unlike many pounds and shelters, this facility will not euthanize any animal. They do all they can to find forever homes, foster homes, or they'll keep them. <laughs> Euthanizing a dog is simply not an option. We want to help the animals because they can't do it themselves, and they definitely here in the Tuscaloosa community need help. If you're wondering how you can help Freeman and all the homeless animals throughout Tuscaloosa, Freeman says they always accept cleaning supplies, leashes, collars, or treats. But most importantly, spay and neuter your pet. I cannot stress that enough. Around 6,000 animals get turned in to Metro Animal Shelter on an annual basis. And they're always welcoming volunteers, even if you can't work with the animals. So a lot of people aren't able to actually physically work with the animals, help us with fundraising. But the best thing you can do is adopt a pet instead of buying. Adoptions are how Freeman says she gets paid. Well, I call it my, our adoption high. When you see that adoption, when you see a family that is loving on that animal, when we get pictures of them in their home being spoiled, that's what it's all about for us. And there's something you should know too. They don't just hand out dogs here. There's a process to protect the adopters and the animals. To find out more, go to humanesocietyofwa.org. That's the spirit of Alabama. I'm Ivy Irvin, reporting for WVUA 23 News. And if you have someone you'd like us to feature in our Spirit of Alabama reports, all you have to do is email us at spiritofalabama at wvua23.com.